These four white walls are all too familiar. For years, they've been more familiar than my family, and I visit them more often. I don't tell my parents anymore when I'm admitted to psych wards. I don't want them to worry about a time I don't get locked up and instead fly up to the moon to give my thanks. I separate myself from their worry, their tears. I tell some of my friends, and I imagine for them it feels like a falling chandelier, broken again, pieces needing to be swept up to some, so something can be made of this wreckage. I sit alone in a dark room in the land with no mirrors and rest. When I cannot rest any longer, I realize I must view myself deeper than any mirror can show. My ocean heart, lost as I may be within it, cascading, draining down over the bridges that I thought I wanted to jump off, but I am not there. I am here in the psych ward because there was at least an ounce that didn't want to be shattered, alone that didn't want the ripples to hurt those who care about me. Even if I don't know them, even if they don't know me, suicide hurts more than one person. My tired, hungry, saddened friend sits in the yard ER with me for nine straight hours. I never even asked her to come. She is here because she is terrified that I will leave and she will never be able to hear my voice again. I have caused this, or at least a part of it, but her care for me is brighter than the sun, is stronger than the current, is more familiar to me than my own perception, which is obviously skewed because I didn't think that anyone would grieve for me more than I do on a daily basis. I thought that one jump was better than a thousand crises, that one cut wouldn't cut, gouge out hundreds of hearts, didn't believe that my living was beautiful art. Here I am. The moon says she is not ready for me to come home yet. She says that grief comes in waves and she'll send the tides to wash away at the bedrock of my shame and mourning. Mourning will come. She says my life doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my purpose, and I haven't achieved my purpose yet. My heart, as fucking hurting as it may be, it hasn't felt the love yet, bursting in my veins like fireworks that light up a summer sky, but it is there. Have I shown my love, or have I been too scared living in my PTSD, ADHD, BPD, insert acronym brain? Have I accepted the love that others have offered me? Fuck no. Have I seen the northern lights, tasted Vancouver sushi, fallen in love? Fuck no. So why do I feel like I am finished? It's not game over, it's not game ended. Breathe. I have to believe that all these suicide attempts failed for a fucking reason. That there's more yet to come. This isn't how I end, this isn't how this ends. I have to believe that these white walls are but a canvas. Framing my resilience, waiting to be splattered with colors that I'm growing in a mind thick with creativity, defying statistics, and survival.